All right, so this next story is scary. A Houston area man is already free on bond after he was charged in the kidnapping and assault of a woman he met on the dating app Bumble. The 21-year-old woman says that Zachary Kent Mills held her captive without food or water for five days and then beat her when she tried to escape. CNN senior national correspondent Ed Lavendera is following these developments for. So what and what do we learn from these court documents, Ed? Well, these are uh, documents that were filed in the arrest of 21-year-old Zachary Kent Mills uh, and based on the interviews that the investigators had with the victim in this case, where she alleges that on Christmas Eve, December 24th, she connected with uh, Mills on the dating app Bumble and that he came by her apartment, picked her up, and they went back to his apartment. And that's where, according to the court documents, he immediately tried to engage in sexual intercourse. The victim told investigators that he she refused the advances and that then the mills began to physically assault her, punching her, slapping her, and even at one point using a screwdriver uh, to inflict uh, uh, damage on the woman as well. Uh, the court documents reveal that the woman was found with bruised eyes, bruises all over her body, as well as cuts to her neck and throat. Uh, despite all of this, uh, five days later, uh, Mills, according to the court documents, decided to leave his apartment and go see his father, and that is when the woman was able to escape. And despite all of this, the attorney for Mills says uh, that no one should rush to judgment in this case. Not to be insensitive to the complaining witness at all or anything like that, or for anyone who may have actually experienced these traumatic events, but I think also imp it's important to know that there are two sides to this story. My client is presumed innocent, as is afforded to him through the Constitution and due process. Now, as you mentioned, Jim, uh, Mills is out on bond. It was a $50,000 bond. There are some conditions uh, on that release. He is not allowed to come within 200 feet of where the victim lives, works, or goes to school, and that he is, has to observe a 24-hour home confinement curfew as well. He's not expected back in court, though, until early March.